Now let's carry on with our scientific trend. A new planet has been discovered. And to tell us more about it, we have... It's Planet Man, David Moore from Astronomy Hi, guys. Hey, how's it going? Terrific. How are you doing? So, David... Very good. Kepler 22b is this new planet. It's like Earth's cousin, apparently. But why does it have such a boring name? Well, it's a very exciting planet because <laughs> it's it's the one we've been looking for all the time. And it was found by the Kepler spacecraft. And Kepler spacecraft was named after an ancient astronomer who figured out how the planets moved. And it's the 22nd one that it's found something interesting about. Mm -hmm. It's looking at 150,000 stars all the time from space. No clouds, no bad weather. And they've got about 2,000 that look interesting, and 48 of them might be like the Earth. <gasps> and this is the first one they've confirmed is like the Earth. And in what, in what ways is it like the Earth? Well, it's about the same size as the Earth, two and a half times bigger. That's roughly the same, because most planets are very big. We have planets 11 times wider than the Earth in our solar system. Oh, so it's close enough to the same size. So it's size. close enough, yeah. And the gravity should therefore be similar, so water would rest on the surface. And a lot of the 700 planets we've found so far, they're too hot. They're too close to the star. This one is about the same distance we're from the star, not too hot, not too cold. So in the Goldilocks zone, as it's sometimes <laughs> Just <called>. right. <laughs> <laughs> and there could be life on it. Well, it certainly could be water, and then hopefully life would f flow from that. That's very fantastic. good. And how will we know if there is water on it? Well, that's going to be very difficult. What the Kepler's craft does, it looks at the star, and it's like watching a car headlight and a small little insect flies in front of it. You and I wouldn't notice that, but this has special cameras that can see even that tiny blip that a tiny insect would, would make. And then if there's air or something around that insect, that'd be really hard to find, but there are tricks for doing it. We've done it for a very hot planet, and if they can do it for this planet and show there's oxygen in the atmosphere, which is what you and I are breathing, keeping mm -hmm. us alive, the only way we know that oxygen gets into the air is plant life. And although we wouldn't see the plants, we'd know then that there's life on Kepler-22b. So, so, so would we be able to travel there at any stage? Now that's the problem. Because how far away is it? Well, it's 600 light years away. Right, what does that mean? Well, it's 6,000 trillion kilometres. Wow. So Ages away. It's too, too big to imagine. We, we, our spacecraft couldn't get there. It'd take millions of years. It's 40 million times further away than the sun is. So we can't really uh, get there to, to the planet itself. It's going to be too far away. So will we ever be able to know if there's, like, there could be little green men running around? There could around be little well, green the men. Well, the good news is, remember, there are 48 planets that they found, and the only other 47 ones could be closer, but it'll still be very far away. And two other groups have found planets a bit bigger than this one that might just have life on them as well. So you're going to hear a lot more about this in the coming months, years, and eventually the front page of newspapers will be life found on another planet. And Ooh. this is a big stepping stone towards On Kepler 68 <laughs> or something yeah. like that. <laughs> could be, yeah. Or it could be the spacecraft that comes after Kepler. There's even a group in Ireland looking for plants, and they found some around other stars that they tend to be big plants, not like Kepler's one. But at least here on Irish soil, there are people finding planets around other stars. So do you think there's life out there on different planets? Well, only because we're, we think we know how you and I got here. We came from smaller animals. They all came from very simple animals and from complicated chemistry. And we had billions of years to do this. And the stuff that starts it all off is all out, out there So in it space. could be out there. It, it could so be. aliens, yes or no, are they real? Uh, <laughs> not buzzing us, but I believe they are out there somewhere. Oh, yes. Well, you heard it That's here, all guys. I wanted to hear. <laughs> Thanks Thank very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> My pleasure. Well,